about the third movement from Casado's difficult solo cello suite. In this movement, Casado takes the fandango, it's a Spanish dance that is similar to the flamenco, and adapts it to the cello and to classical music. There's guitar-like pizzicatos, there's castanet-like uh, sound effects. In bar five, I like playing the pizzicatos uh, with a fan. Each finger hits the strings uh, multiple times, so this uh, creates a more guitar-like uh, sound. Of course, you can always play... ...which is also beautiful. Um, if you decide to play the fan pizzicato, it's gonna hurt at first. It's not very comfortable, so I would suggest you practice uh, without the bow. Um, just open your hands, stiffen your fingers, and then... quintuplet is very expressive it sounds like you should uh, even put words to it uh, I don't speak Spanish so I will let you do this and then here the harmonics can be played uh, as written on the D and the G or So uh, I prefer playing it on the up on the D and G just because it, it creates a special color that I like. But this is uh, can be cleaner, <laughs> and then you are also without rosin. <laughs> Allegretto Tranquillo, it is, I think, a place where you should think carefully about what kind of tempo you want. It can go many different ways. It can go... Or it can go... So there's uh, really a variety of ways to play this. It is tranquilo, so keep this in mind, obviously, but it can also feel very long if you take it too slow. I like sometimes counting while I play to uh, just make the beats very clear in my head. Uh, so there's, especially when it, it's a 5-4 bar, sometimes it's trickier to understand and feel it uh, than 4-4-4 four, 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 or 3-4. So, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And here we have eight beats actually in a second sub phrase and bar 14 is the beginning again make sure you're playing your g sharp and f sharp high enough so um uh, to create to differentiate it from the non sharps uh. and here it's a transition bar also important i think to first figure out exactly how the beats fall and only then take liberties. So, is split into two. Uh, the new phrase starts in the fourth on the fourth eighth. <laughs> Obviously repeats the very beginning, the A theme, um, and then here I listen to when I go up. I kind of almost listen to the way going up, and, and in my head I imagine the high F sharp. And the 
this is uh, Hemiola, uh, this is bar 33 and 34. Um, so what I, how I bring out this polyrhythm is by uh, giving a little, a little oomph to both the third beat of bar uh, 32. So it's one, two, three, and also the downbeat of bar 33. So there's two things going on here. There's two, two, and two. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two. But at the same time, we are in three, four. So we have one, two, three, one, two, three. So if you think of both, both those rhythms should be there. Uh, Here in uh, the Allegro Marcato, you have to be sure that uh, we hear clearly every note of the three note chords. And so, um, be sure you hear the E, the C sharp, and the A. is the most important uh, note here. It creates that dissonance. And then here in bar 42, we have this long, short, short, long rhythm. Um, a very typical Spanish castanets. You can think of castanets rhythm there. So more per percussive than what we had before. And then abrupt change of mood, uh, this expressivo. Be sure to pay attention to the dashes above the notes here. The same is here. Those uh, parallel chords, very typical uh, Spanish progression. So. And uh, here in bar 58, uh, I bring the B flat. This is what creates that tension, and um, this is the dissonance that's so beautiful. Again, abruptly change. So there's don't prepare the subito piano. Uh, we have forte. So you remember bar 10, we have um, Allegretto Tranquilo. Here again, Allegretto Tranquilo in a different key. So I like practicing these two voices separately, the stem down and the stem up. But try to practice it with the correct fingerings. And then when you put the voices together, try to bring out the bottom voice. Because the, the top voice will come out more naturally. The 
this is what uh, differentiates this from the first time we heard this um, same uh, material. So, bar 97. Definitely uh, pay attention to this, bring it up. And 102 is also a repeat of the C theme, which is a repeat of bar 42. So we have here. Carefully at the difference between um, tempo one in bar 102 and tempo and a tempo in bar 42. Um, here the chord has four notes and they are rolled. Uh, so in uh, the first time we heard it in bar 42, it had only three notes and they had an accent. They were not rolled. Again, abrupt and and then so here in bar 127 we have uh, a flat G flat and F flat and two bars later Casado reverses those notes so so I would a little bit on that F flat. Uh, so here in bar 132, we are repeating the A theme that we've heard in the beginning. Uh, so. But here we have it in a different key, obviously. that B flat and A, that clashing. I like using two slurs here. Here in bar 142, we have again the long, short, short, long, the castanets uh, motif. Uh -huh. And here, again, be sure every note of those three note chords uh, is heard. transition to bar 54 um, so it goes <laughs>
material coming at, at towards the end of the movement. So. <laughs> Tranquilo. Uh, the first time we only had Espressiva, yes, and here uh, we have Pianissimo, and the first time we did not, it was within piano, so obviously the contrast here is, is bigger, uh, and there's also a little uh, breath sign. <laughs> Um, it still is just an eighth, so I like playing it short. Um, sometimes it's a little unsatisfying because you really want to play as loud as we can, and this is a low register. Right? But it's gesture, and I think it's better to keep it short. So going back to the retard in bar 25. When I have a ritardando and I'm not sure how I want to do it, uh, which is usual, <laughs> I subdivide. We have eighth here. Instead of playing what's written, I practice with uh, just 16th notes and it helps me to gradually to plan my ritardando. So. And then I go back to what's written. So. Another technique that helps is going backwards. You have to first establish the rhythm for the lento, manotropo, and then from there you take it back. All right, that's it, guys. See you next time. Thanks for watching.